let's do a radiant skin finish makeup first i go in with micellar water and wipes to cleanse the face this is a very important stage of makeup you have to prepare your canvas it has to be neat and ready to receive and then i set with my new brand beauty setting spray to hydrate let that sit in and go in with essence to hydrate the skin remember it's a radiant skin finish and then after that i will massage that thoroughly into her skin and neck and then i go in with the hyaluronic serum to hydrate the skin more then go in with beauty oil to also hydrate the skin to give that glow that we need and then with a hydrating moisturizer from a maricode press that massage into the skin into the neck the face and all of that then the sunscreen sunscreen is very important guys don't say because you're using makeup you will not use sunscreen so massage that into the skin too and then you use the primer the maybelline primer around the t-zones and the chin and then this other primer on the perimeter of the face yeah you massage that into the skin then you set again with the new band beauty setting spray then hydrate the lips with comex lip balm then go in with the glow highlighter from new band beauty on her cheekbones and the t-zones and everywhere you just want her to glow basically so the next is color correct with new band beauty and la girl in a shade she doesn't really have dark spots like that i'm just correcting the dark circles and all of that just to make sure that uh, makeup sits properly on her skin yeah and then i go in with beauty by the foundation mac mirror beauty and Maybelline fix me foundation with my dd beauty beauty blender and then i use that to apply my foundation on the skin little goes a long way less is more make sure you blend all of that into the skin and also remember that you don't need too much product so while i'm doing that i am very conscious of the forehead i'm not going to the forehead i'm not going to the nose area that's because i don't want to use new products so i just use whatever is left on the beauty sponge on the forehead and on the nose do you get me yeah so that's it's just basically blend and blend and blend and blend seal there are no ash lines to so assure that you cannot see any ash lines just blend everything and then after that i'll highlight the skin with new band beauty and um early girl so i just place that that way and then i just highlight that to lift the face up to give the face yeah to just lift the face up that's why i am highlighting this way yeah so i'm not packing product all over the under eye i am just pressing in products remember little goes a long way and on the nose i don't draw a line i just do it that way and then use a little product with the same beauty blender and the side i used to apply foundation i'm going to blend in the concealer and then i'll contour the face with darker shades to give the face more definition my model already has very nice features so i'm just going to enhance that i am not doing too much so I'm just going to blend into a into a temple, and then I'll do that to for the other side, and then I'll blend our forehead, not everywhere, just to blend the contour into her skin, into the products that were already on the face, so that it is more defined, so that there are no ash lines. Remember, we have to blend, and then this is also to give the face more definition, basically, and then I'll contour the nose. I'll go with the darker shades from the um, brows to the middle of the nose and then I'll blend that in yeah with beauty blender and then I'll go with a lighter shade of contour towards the end of the nose for more natural look and then I'll go in with the rosy cheeks blush and then I'll just blush her cheeks with the right shades remember less is more you don't have to pack too much then I blended the blush in with the beauty blender then I went to the other side to apply with brush and went to the forehead with the remnant on the brush, no excess product. And then I do the same thing on the nose, no product. And then I blend in with the with the blender again, with the beauty sponge again, to give a more seamless look. And then I want to set the face with New Band Beauty setting powders. Yes, yeah, so I just set the um, the under eye with um, New Band Beauty setting powder in Sienna mustard of her shade 
she has a very beautiful skin tone and we do not want to alter that so pretty much i'll be setting everywhere that i used to concealer to highlight on her face yeah so i'll just go in on the eye her chin and everywhere that i used to concealer on except that i am also going to be using this setting powder around under the contour to make the face more chiseled it's just to create more definition for the face much much more definition for this face so i'll set the nose but i won't set the forehead with this setting powder next is a darker shade of powder to set the contour yeah remember it is just to define the face to enhance her beauty and not to alter it so i have added another powder shade zaron to complement that other powder that i used earlier so that it can give a more seamless finish and then i'll set the contour on the nose too so because i have used a darker darker shade to contour the top of the nose i'll use a darker shade of powder to set it too and then the towards the end of the nose i'm going to use something that is not as dark as what i used at the top to set the contour then i'm going to set the rest of the face with the v beauty powder so I just said where I have not highlighted, where I have not contoured, and where I have not blushed. Do you feel me? <laughs> yeah, so I so I just basically used the powder brush to push in little product into the face to set the rest of the face. Also, I used the powder brush on the forehead. Remember, we did not set with the setting powder. So that's just, yeah. So that's why I did not set to make it look more natural and not be carrying product stamp on the forehead basically yeah so i just do that till i'm convinced that everything is all set no harsh lines everything looks radiant and beautiful yeah so after that i go in with the powder blush to set the cream blush that i've already applied so i just use that powder brush i just place it i don't drag so i just place it basically on the cream blush that had been blended so basically everywhere that I put blush, I would use the powder blush. So I just use the wipes to take away dust from the eyebrows to prep the brows for brows. So I've used that brow wax to set the brow in place before the actual brow pencil. So I'll be going in with my MacBook eyebrow pencil to draw the brows. And that's because of her skin tone. Yeah, so I'm just going to go in with light strokes. I'm just going to be really feather handed while drawing these brows because I do not want to stamp on my mother's face. Remember, we want to keep it as natural as possible. This is how I draw my brows. I'm going to be uploading a brow, a full brow tutorial video very soon. So after that is done, you can see how natural looking the brow looks. And then I'm just going to do strokes for the brow and then I go in with the mascara wand for the eyebrows to further brush up the brows to you know feather it to make it look more natural then I'm going to be highlighting the brows with shades very close to the to the skin tone and also the shade that is exactly the skin tone so that it looks natural I mean emphasis on not looking different than herself yes so that's just basically it. cleaning the brows the upper parts with the shade that is exactly her shade that's a chestnut LA girl chestnut and I'm using the new band beauty concealer to also highlight yeah and then I just brush it out with um, powder I just set the highlights with powder of course next I'll be going in with my MacBook eyeliner black MacBook eyeliner to line the under eye and smoke that out and then I'll be using the same MacBook eyeliner to create a base for my for my eye look I'm doing pigment look for her so this is just to smoke the base and make it look intense and beautiful yeah so it's just that's just it and then I'll be blending that out I'll blend the base out very well with blending brush so that of course there is no harsh line and then I'll go with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette 
I'll use the black shade to set the eye base to make it look good and then you blend very well to make sure there are no ash lines blend very well blend the eyeshadow the black eyeshadow very well into the skin into the eyelid smoke it out make it look good blend it very very well pay attention to it closely <laughs> like I am doing in this video <laughs> Alright, so just blend and blend and blend and after that I went in with pink shade of eyeshadow a pink eyeshadow I just used that to just you know to just brush it off it wasn't intense it was just something very small I blended out the excess with some powder as you can see in the video I just blend it very well dusted and then I used this silver matte pigment glue to prepare the eyelids for the pigment I prefer to use my fingers because it allows me work very well and then I go in with the pigment gently gently I go in with pigment glitz pigment in peaches and orchid I'm going to be mixing that in a way <laughs> hopefully you will see how I do that in this video so what I do basically is just use um, one first and then I use the other and blend it in. If you can see some elements of gold, even though what I'm going for is actually pink. Do you understand? So I'm just like going to blend the two pigments into the eyes. Then I go with the second eyelid to and do the same. I would I've taken one of the pigments, placed it and then I'm placing the other one on top of that and then I'll blend it in to make it seamless and to make it look exactly like the other eye line with the Zaron eyeliner in jazz after that yeah so this is basically how I line I line from the outer corner of the eye and then I go in to the inner corner of the eye and then when I get to the inner corner of the eye I ask my client model to open their eyes so that I can do it from the inner corner of the eye. Next is DD Beauty Mascara to prep the eyelashes, the natural lashes for false eyelashes. And then I'll be using classic lash glue for my lashes. Yeah, so that's it. Then after that, I'll line the eye again because I have applied my false lashes at this point. Yeah, then I would go ahead and set the face again. Now, I am not using too much product. Remember, I am just setting the entire face now. After that, I'll go in with cream highlighter from TM Essentials to just apply on the areas where I want glow, basically the cheekbones, the chin, the nose, and just a little bit on the forehead. Yeah, so that's just basically it. And after that, I'll set the face with Nuban Beauty first to set everything in place. Yeah, and then I'll go in with the Ferrari long lasting spray to basically seal everything in. And then that's how admiring herself. <laughs> then I'll go with my brush to just set the spray in with no product on the brush, just basically setting the spray in. Next is the lip. I'll be going in with the Davis Wood lip liner pencil to just line the lips so when I am doing lips I consider skin tone too so I don't want to do something that is off that will not look good also I want something that would complement the look especially the eyes and the entire outlook of the face so I just first 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 line with um, a brown lip liner a brown lipstick a brown lip stain sorry brown lip liner lip stain lipstick whatever works for you actually so I just line that and then I accentuate I keep it bow like that with the pencil because I mean lining is very very important when it comes to lips so I just basically keep going till I'm confident of what I have done yeah so that's me doing the other side and as I am using the lip liner I am actually blending the lips with the pencil too there's a technique to that anyway I'll use the lip liner brush to blend everything into the lips everything into the lips 
so that I can use the lipstick now. So I'll go in with the GD Beauty lipstick and Maybank Beauty concealer. Yes, concealer. So that I have mixed together and I am applying on the lips right now. Yeah, so I'm just using a fluffy brush, a tiny fluffy brush for the lips. Yeah, and then I'm just going to use that to blend. As I'm applying, I am blending. As you can see in the video, I am applying and blending at the same time. So when I'm done with the lower lip, I'll go to the upper lip and then I'll go gentle, just like airbrush thing. So I just like brush, 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 and then blend. As I'm brushing, I'm blending. So I'm applying lipsticks, I am blending, I am brushing at the same time. Can you see what that looks like now? Can you see that? And then I'll go in with lip glosses because I love glosses so much. So I've gone in with the nude lip glosses and I'm going to blend that in, apply that in very well, nicely on the lips. And then I'm going to go over the lips. I mean, it's just to accentuate what we have done and then I'll go to the upper lip and do the same thing. Apply the nude lip glosses. Not too much because we are still going to apply clear gloss on this. Yes. <laughs> then after that, I'm going to use the lip liner again on the lower lip. Yeah, I'm going to use that again because of smudge and yes, I'll go in with the classic clear lip gloss. And that's the final thing for the to the lip. So I'm just going to apply that on the lower lip again. Yeah, carefully, not over the lip. Just check the way the lip looks like. And then you apply according to the shape and size of the lip. So I'm not going to make the lip look bigger than they are. I'm just going to make the lips look plump and nice. Just look at that. And this is the final look guys just look at that soak it in please watch like share comment subscribe and follow me on instagram on my makeup page at the sparkles mua i'm available for bookings i'm in lagos nigeria i am available to travel god bless you bye